When one model is the focus of your render and you want to show it close up, you need that model to look great. It needs to have materials and details that tell a story with every visible area carefully crafted. And that's when you need Adobe Substance 3D Painter. Painter gives you a set of advanced tools and techniques to craft and apply materials and details. You can paint by hand, making sure every fine point is to your liking, or you can work fast and efficiently by using automatic generators. You can also combine those methods to get the best of both worlds. You always work on a single specific 3D model. The textures you make are created specifically for this model. Ideally, it already has a UV layout, but Substance Painter can also generate UVs for you. And if you decide to change those UVs later, your texturing work will be transferred. Substance Painter lets you use information from your mesh before you start texturing. It's not required, but it quickly gives you a good base to start from. No need to paint and place those kinds of details by hand. Like Adobe Photoshop, Substance Painter uses a layer system. With layers, your ideas quickly become actual materials and details. You build up layers, determine placement on your mesh with masks, and blend them with other layers below. Layers and effects have parameters that can be tweaked, letting you iterate and adjust your materials easily. Masks let you work quickly and efficiently. With simple black and white information, you're able to make materials appear in intricate patterns with complex forms. You can generate them automatically based on your bakes and use parameters to set where the details appear. And if you want more control, Substance Painter lets you override or combine automatic effects with manual work at any point. That way, you can easily try new ideas, effects, and details, and then transfer and reuse them in other projects. To get started, Painter has a panel filled with assets you can drag and drop, like materials, patterns, and masks presets. You can also easily add more materials from the thousands we offer online. For manual work, you'll find brushes, alphas, and particles. And if you want to add your own content to the Assets panel, like your favorite Photoshop brushes, for example, it only takes a few clicks. Substance Painter even lets you blur the line between materials and modeling. Using height information in your materials, you can change the geometry of your mesh. The height information pushes parts of your mesh in or out, letting you add more detail than was possible during modeling or sculpting. Once your textures are finished, you can export them to any 3D application using Adobe Substance 3D Painter's export presets and move on to staging and rendering. <laughs>